A blind man walks into a bar and then a table and then a chair. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. Today we're shaving with night music, which is awesome, but I'll get to that. First of all, um, a question from a friend of mine about some of my brushes. He also gifted me this razor, which I'll be using today. Change it up a bit from the straight razors, straight razors. And uh, this is a Gillette Super Speed. And this is my birth year razor. And it is even the right quarter. So thank you, my friend. Well, he asked me about my Zenith horsehair brush. Is it floppy? And basically, I think horsehair brushes are perceived as floppy because the hairs are very soft, especially when they get moist. So it doesn't have a ton of backbone, although this is packed pretty well and it, it's a good brush. Uh, the hairs get soft, so you get a bit of a floppy feel on the face. Uh, I still load from the top with this one. I still face lather, but it is softer than all of my other brushes. I have another horse hair. This is from Vlong. Vlong. This one is rubbish. It's definitely floppy, and the, the the hairs when they get soft get too soft. So I don't use this. So if you're using, if you want to buy a horse hair brush, make sure it's properly made, properly properly packed, because the hairs will be soft. And then this is one of my favorite razors. This is one of my favorite brushes. I love it. I also got a question about um, my boar brushes. I have three, so I'm not very good with pig hair or boar brushes. He asked, is this one, which is also a Zenith brush, and this is what I'm using today, do the bleached do the bleached hairs make it feel soft and he compared it to an omega he asked this is an omega i don't know models or anything basically i guess this one is bleached and this one probably not they're both scruffy and they feel about the same in other words not very soft on on the face but interested in your opinion what do you what do you think what's your experience with treated boar brushes or boar hairs gelled tips um, bleached what have you lathering up time uh, night music i like it so much i even have the trifecta i have the aftershave and i have the the perfume it's just great i love it drinking Wein Stefan Hefe Weissbier. So it's a, it's a wheat beer and it's Hefe. It's the wrong glass, sorry. This is a Belgian glass. I'll try and hide it. Um, so it's unfiltered and it's fantastic. I don't know why I don't drink this more often. Ah. You want it slightly warmer than refrigerated temperature it's a bit too cold when, when it's straight out of the fridge well that goes for most good beers goes for ales <clears throat> for sure and voila so night music i really like this label by the way isn't it nice so scent notes are vanilla bergamot musk irish iris and strawberry and you know Wow, I've always liked this. So this is uh, this is a polarizing scent, apparently. And um, I was uh, watching a live with Latherhog and One Pass Below on on YouTube. I think it doesn't matter. It could have been Instagram, but anyway, Latherhog put in put a part of that live on his YouTube channel. If I forget to put a link, it's Latherhog, one word. Because um, it's one word. And they talked about 
polarizing soap scents. And we all participated and Leatherhog John made, uh, made a list, which was quite interesting. I think he got about, can you see it's a bit brown, brown? The soap, the lather. So a lot of barrister and man soaps in there. Uh, Fougere Gothic, Rome, Diamond, and a few others. And you had Batters Up from Noble Otter. You know, all, all the good soaps. <laughs> all the good stuff. And a, a bunch of others that I can't remember. But this, this is apparently a soap that a lot of people don't like. I, I just don't understand it. It doesn't smell foul. It's not all that dark. Um, this is nothing offensive with it. I think. Well balanced. One of the nicer scents that Barrister and Man have, have made. That I've tried. Well, of course I've tried a lot of the challenging ones. Um, Fougere Gothic is another story. That's a video in its own. I have the had the perfume there as well but that that's that's more of an acquired taste my god i'm soiling the floor so i'm putting a towel down here try and minimize the damage I have quite a bit of water in the brush and it's a very rich lather so this is what happens but this this one is you know, it has, it has the combination that I like of musk and vanilla. I just find that great and quite intriguing and really, really interesting. And then to add to that, there's a, a lot of sweetness in it, which, which is the strawberry, I guess. And these, some soaps don't smell really, really good, but they're interesting. This one, I, I, I think it's magnificent. Good lather already. I'm not going to fuss about too much with it because I'm using a safety racer. Then I'm not as, it's not as important that it's dripping wet as when I shave with a straight razor. So I have a Nasset blade in this one. I think I've used once. I use this quite a lot, quite a lot of camera. As, as shavings go, this is my favorite razor. I mean, I like my wick, I like my straights, especially now that I've, I'm trying to learn how to hone. Doing quite well, actually. And they're, they're, I like them because they're interesting and they're pretty and perhaps I put the edge on myself and, and the weck is outstanding. So yeah, maybe this and the weck are my favorite racers, but this one is so good. I've never grown attached to any safety racers. This one just suits me. I get perfect shapes, perfect shapes. Um, it's easy to maneuver. I never cut myself. Usually if the blade is good, I don't even get weepers. And it's so smooth. So it's, 
very efficient. And at the same time, you can barely feel it. I don't know, it's, I've tried how many safety racers? Five or six. So I don't know. I'm not gonna say this is the best racer out there. It's just out of the DEs that I have, this is another league. Um, I have another super speed that I also got from my friend which is equally good. I just like this one a lot because it's my birth year racer. This soap also, so damn good. So damn good. And it works a charm with a board bar. Some soaps are... Ugh. This one is just super easy. Super easy, super speed and super easy. But have you tried night music? And if you have, what do you think of it? And what are some, I think John called them polarizing and shocking scent. And do you like them or do you not? Being used to straight dressers, straight dressers, that's hard to say today. I, I stretch my skin sometimes a little bit, like I do when I straight shave. Because why not? And especially around here, because otherwise my chin goes back and I get cuts. No good. No bueno. C'est pas bien. Das ist nicht gut. But I feel holding my finger here like I do with straight. Just helps me get a smooth shaving action. I really like this racer. There are probably, certainly, a lot of really nice safety racers out there. Not in the mood to experiment anymore. It's enough with this, with the straights. Maybe a small weeper right there. So what I do do sometimes with the DEs, I do a bit of a half pass afterwards because there are always i mean up here it's bloody perfect always a few angles that are a little bit more challenging to get as as well shaved as as closely shaved as with the straight this is where i get cuts when i go you know, slightly different directions. Jawline in particular. I probably look like I'm shaving for the first time when I use one of these. Where does it grow? Where does the hairs grow? Is 
This is where you get irritation. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. That was bloody brilliant. Love the soap. Again, if you've tried it and you, you find it offensive or shocking, what is it that makes you feel that way? I mean, I, I'm not immune to weird scents, you know. Some I understand are just crazy and not nice. It can still be interesting. But this one, I, I, it's so well put together. I, I like it. And I don't like it because it's weird. I like it because it's pretty good. Night music. Barrister and man. It's Sunday evening, tomorrow's Monday. Some of us have to work, some of us have to go to school, some of us have other burdens to carry. Let's get through the week together and let's see each other on the other side. Oh, by the way, uh, yesterday was the 65th birthday of Blixa Bargelt, who's the lead character and the singer in Einstürzende Neubauten, from whom I've stolen the logo for the channel. So Blixa, I assume you're watching. Happy birthday, belated by one day. Here's to another 65 years. Oh God, no. Stay sharp.